be interviewing the most talented actress, singer, and dancer of the 1920s, Miss Josephine Baker. Hi, thank you for having me on your show. It's such a thrill to be here. All right, Josephine, we're going to get right into the hard-hitting questions. Where did you come from? Well, I was born in St. Louis, Missouri on June 3rd of 1906. My mama named me Frida Josephine McDonald. My mama was a washerwoman, and my daddy was a drummer in vaudeville. He left soon after I was born. My mama always struggled, and we never had much money. Growing up, I cleaned houses and was a waitress at a local restaurant. Eventually, my mama remarried, leaving me with a half-brother and two half-sisters. How did you start touring with the Jones Family Band and the Dixie Steppers? Well, originally I was the comic act for the Jones' Family Band, and the Dixie Steppers just loved me. But when we parted ways, I decided to go to New York. In New York, I, was the, I tried to be a chorus girl for Shuffle Along, but they called me too dark and skinny. Except, who did they call when the white girl got up and left? Me. So I went up on stage, rolled my eyes, tripped, and looked like a complete fool. But I made it my comedic act anyways. How did you find yourself in Paris? Well, one day I got a call from La Revue Negre. When I got to Paris, they had me dance in just a feather skirt with Joe Alex. The audience just loved us. They could not get enough. What did you do with your newfound fame? Well, the fashion. I mean, how can one resist? Also, I must confess, I do have a soft spot for animals. I have my leopard Chiquita, my chimpanzee Ethel, my pig Albert, and my snake Kiki. And I also have a goat, a parrot, fish, three cats, and seven beautiful dogs. We're all dying to hear about your relationships over the years. Well, let me think. First, I married Willie Wells when I was 13 while working at the restaurant. It didn't last long though because at 15, I married Willie Baker. I ended up keeping the Baker last name, of course, but when I moved to Paris, I fell in love with Sean Leon, whom I bought a huge estate just outside of the city with. With your last husband, Sean Leon, you adopted 12 children and you joked that you called them the rain your rainbow tribe. Tell us more about them. The Rainbow Tribe, they're a pretty interesting group of children. First, there are my two precious sweethearts, Mariana and Selena, and then the boys, Akiol, Jeanette, Louis, Jari, Sean, Claudel, Moisey, Brahim, Kofi, Morel, and Noel. We're all very big troublemakers. As we wrap the show tonight, is there anything else you want your fans to know? Yes, I would just like to thank all of you for being such great, dedicated fans. It means so much. I absolutely love performing. Also, I will be performing on April 8th at the Bobino Theater. I am looking forward to seeing all of you there. And thank you so much for having me on your show. Thanks for being on the show. On April 8th, 1975, Josephine premiered at the Bobino Theater in Paris. The reviews were among her best. Days later, however, Josephine slipped into a coma. She passed away at 5 a.m. on April 12th. More than 20,000 people crowded the streets of Paris to watch her funeral procession on its way to the Church of Madeleine. The French government honored her with a 21-gun salute, making Josephine Baker the first American woman buried in France with military honors. Her gravesite is in Monaco at the Cimetière de Monaco. Long, but they call me too dark and too skinny, so you're shaking your head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shaking my head because it's too dark and too skinny. <laughs> you have to act like you're engaged when you're the interviewer. <laughs> you look like you have a mental disorder. <laughs> it was a normal shaking that you should just nod. That's <laughs> in seven beautiful dogs. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, you're fine. <laughs> you just have to like roll with the mistakes. So, but the one story I got this one. Third time's the charm. I wish I wasn't so freaking sweaty.
can feel something in my eyes and my legs look chunky from this. <laughs>